All right, it is show time. And, and guess what? That's not Pete. You're not Pete. I'm not Pete. Michael Williams joining us in the house. I guess, Michael, we'll call you our official fill-in guest for Pete when well, Pete is gone. Well, thank you. I appreciate that? that. Yeah. Now, now Pete, hmm? Pete flew up to Detroit Thursday, and he got in a car. He drove somewhere to where the road ends, and he met his buddies and his brother and other friends. And they all piled in an airplane with those big runway or, or water tennis shoe things looking things on there. Yeah, yeah. And they all put all their, 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 their belongings in this airplane. And this airplane has flown them to some deserted island up in Canada. Oh, my goodness. And he's, and he's fishing for uh, uh, some big fish. I forget what they're called. Yeah. There. But that's what he's. That's where he's at. That sounds amazing. He though. might not He might not be able to see us. He probably doesn't have internet service. Well, he'll be at. jealous when he comes back. Uh, well, probably a little jealous now of him yeah. going up there. <laughs> well, true. But hey, welcome. Yeah. We got Thank we you. had a great man. This is gonna be a great show. We are talking the <clears throat> the greatest meat ever invented by the Almighty. It's underrated. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh, people my. just don't cook it enough. Bacon. It's bacon, and we're gonna show you how to cook it. But we're not cooking bacon. We're gonna cook pork belly. And we're gonna show you how to how to do that. We're also gonna have a taste test. And Michael, you don't know this, but you're going to be the first judge, Kogels or Nathan. Okay. Hot dogs. All right. All right. It's not a, it's not a, this is better than that. This is, I like this better than that. Right. All right. We're going to do that throughout the, throughout the uh, rest of the summer and into the fall. Cause of course now at the Owl's Nest uh, barbecue and dog almighty's hot dog stand here at Midnight Oil, we've got Nathan's hot dogs. Now we've had, we've had Kogels and we still have Kogels. We've added Nathan's. And I, you know why I added Nathan's? I have no idea. I was watching July 4th. I was watching Joey Chestnut in the, in the eating contest. Right. And I thought, we need Nathan's. They do a good job of marketing. A lot of people eat Nathan's hot dogs here in town. Yeah. And by golly, we need them. Well, they're awesome. I know. They're good. Yeah. Good well, stuff. So we're going to see who's better to you. All right. Not to overall, just to you. I like those right. Googles now. I know they're good. You're going to get a chance to show okay. off. All right. All right. All right. We're also brought to you by Green Mountain Pellet Grills. Uh, I don't think we've got a Green Mountain Grill behind. I think they're all front. Anyway, we've got them. One of the few people left that have got them. And we've got the uh, Daniel Boone Wi-Fi in stock, too, only $5.99. Uh, I think I've got one, two, three, maybe four left of those. Uh, only five ninety nine. They're going fast, folks. If you want one, come get it. We'll be here until 4 o'clock today. Uh, we're also brought to you by our buddies over at Budget Blinds, Window Treatments, those real cool plantation shutters that people put inside their houses. That's where you get them. Budget Blind, 344-7393. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us. We'll follow you. We'd love to. Now, let's get down to it. Get down to business. I want I want to see, I want to see the Michael Williams method. Okay. A pork belly. Now we've got this pork belly. Went over to Publix. We got this one. Okay. Michael, I want you to go. I want you to Get it just like you were like you were going to get it at the. Uh, Sean, can you come on f f place a good? Let's get a good shot of it. Yeah, right there. There it is. There it is. There's that good looking pork belly right there. Michael's going to take this thing just like it's the first time he saw it coming from um, coming from Publix onto his end table. All right, all right, Sean. Let's go back to the. Uh, let's let's show everybody what a pork belly is. A lot of people don't know what a pork belly is. They they like it. They've tasted it. But they have no idea what it is. Let's get it out and unfold it and open it up. And All right. Don't be bashful. Pretend like you bought it. <laughs> Give me the garbage and I'll take care of that. There you go. Thank you so All much. Right. I'll be well, your assistant. the bladder for the back. Yeah, let me have that. All right. So here's what we have. It's just a big piece of belly. When you're cooking one of these, you want to look at your, look at your end pieces here that are kind of scraggly 
I first of all, turn it over though. All right. Here's the. There's the back. Yep. The That's back what side. makes it good. Yep. Now I had the guys at Publix. This comes when you buy it. It has a real, a real tough skin on it. Real tough. Yeah. And you want to get the butcher to take that off. Yeah. Because they're good at it. I've I've done it. It takes me about thirty five minutes. It took him about ten. Yeah. yeah. So make sure you get them to take the, uh, take the, uh, uh, the big fat. Can you get that shot, Sean? I want everybody to see that. That a pork belly is just it's it's just a big square. That's it all is. it is. Yep. All right, turn that bad baby all over. Right. Look how pretty so, it is on that side. Yeah, look at all that marbling. And yeah. The beautiful textures of meat there. All right, so the first thing that I do when I'm looking at a pork belly is I'll trim it up a little bit. You, mm -hmm. don't, you don't really have to do a whole lot, but you don't want these pieces that are going to burn. Yeah. So that's not really tasty. So there's not a lot of trimming that you really have to do to a pork belly, but a little bit occasionally. You don't have any loose fat hanging up here. There, there we go. There's a piece we can take off. All right. So now, I mean, you're pretty much done. That's about all you have to do, really. Pretty simple. There's not much to it. No, is. there's really not. So what we're going to do, since we're going to cook this two different ways, let's cut it in half. Okay. So we're going to have two different seasonings. Okay. So let's just cut it right down the middle here. And now you've got two pieces that you're going to cook. So. Now let's show them real, real quick, Michael. Let's show them where, if we were going to do bacon, where that bacon would come from. Yep. Sean, if you can get a shot right there. Can you see that? Yeah, right there, Michael. That camera right there. That is, you say, you're looking at it from at the house, you're saying, oh, it's just like bacon. That's where it is. That's it where is. it comes from. And that's basically what you're cooking. Yeah, exactly yep. right. Excuse yep. me. on here. Yeah. Paper towel to keep my digits clean. All right. So now that we are, if you want to go on that away, please. Don't mind that. All right. So we're going to do pork belly two different ways. We're going to do David Bosca's mm -hmm. butcher barbecue. And your first rub down is going to be grilling addiction. You want the peppery notes, the savory, mm -hmm. you know, a good base rub. So now this thing's moist enough now, right now, you don't, there's no yeah. need to. Uh, yeah, no, need, no need to put a binder. You could if you wanted to, but it's it's just a step you'd be wasting. Yeah, I don't normally use binders on stuff because there's enough moisture in the meat. Yeah. Or after you do this, you can hit it with a little water, a little yep, David Bosco trick. So once you get your uh, grilling addiction on it, both sides, and you want to make sure that you get it on that fat cap side because a lot of people will cook these fat cap up to help build that bark. Right here. Yeah. Fat, fat side up. Fat side up. Yep. You're building that bark with it. All right. So now that we've got the grilling addiction on it. Are you fat side up or meat side up? You know, it depends uh, on, what? on what type of cooker I'm cooking on. Okay. Makes uh, sense. On a pellet cooker, I'll go fat side up. Mm -hmm. uh, on a, uh, a drum smoker or a you know, deep south mailbox, something like that where the heat's pounding it from the bottom, I'll go fat to cap down Okay. to help protect the meat. All right. So, okay. Now there's your grilling addiction, both sides. Grilling addiction. Now here is David's maple rub. And I know that the honey rub won the best on the planet, but yep. this, this right here can do it too. It's good too. This is amazing. Now this is kind of like a breakfast, a breakfast uh, pork belly. Isn't it? it is. This is the breakfast one that, mm -hmm. yeah. It'll give you the good uh, maple notes to it. You know, you're getting the bacon, the pork, the savoriness. And uh, it's just really good. So we'll get a good coat of this on here. Oh, that Can you smell awesome. that? Golly, so aromatic. This is the best stuff that for pork. This is amazing. All right, so now that we've got it on the meat side, let's turn it over and put it on the fat cap side. This is Butcher Barbecue Maple Rub. If you don't think that's some good stuff. It's fantastic. Now, I like to use that maple rub when I do my pork butts after I want to start pulling them. Yeah. I'll put that in there for a little bit of flavor. It's got a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat. Yeah. Makes it great. It's a, it's a great product from Butcher Barbecue. I mean, in my opinion, one of his best rubs. Yeah. That, um, Grilling Addiction, Honey, Maple, and Pecan Yeah, are the, are the big four. Plus, yep. it's got more, too, but for me, that's my big four. That's yep. my go-tos. All right. That's the go-tos. So now we've got this one all seasoned up. 
with our butcher barbecue stuff for right. our breakfast you, pork belly. Put that right over here on this on this uh, tray right there. All right. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to move over to our barbecue pork belly. Okay. This and is for lunch now. This is lunch. And what we have here is Myron Mixon's rubs. And mm -hmm. I really like his stuff too. Yeah, absolutely. His uh, his hickory rub is amazing. Yeah, let's get it. So we'll put go. down a, a coat of his hickory rub on here. Mm -hmm. We're using this in place of the grilling addiction. It's a it's a savory, smoky. Got some pepper notes in here. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Can you smell that hickory? Man, yes, I can. I tell you what, he does a good job on this rub. So we'll get both sides good with that. Now, Michael, I, you, you know, I, watching watching the monitor, I can see that you're not skimping with it. So many times people skimp with the rubs. And man, when you're when you're putting on rub, you want to put it on. You get want the to taste flavor it. in yeah. it. Yeah, you want to taste it. It's not gonna. Don't worry about hiding the uh, taste of the meat. You're not gonna do that. No. And don't make a rookie move and not season the sides. Yeah. <laughs> you got to season the sides. Yeah. You know that's part of it. Yeah, you got. You, you got to have flavor. Side. All right, now that we have the hickory rub on there, we'll come back with the honey cluck. The honey money, the honey cluck. money cluck rub. Yep. And Only people, Myron will think of a name like that, honey money cluck people rub. People are thinking, wow, that's a chicken rub. Well, you know what? It's, it's all right. It's an everything rub. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic rub for uh, anything that you want to add sweetness well, look at, to. Look at the color already yeah. on that thing. That looks like, that looks like bacon. That sure hickory? Does. It looks like something you'd see up there at Benton's up in... Uh, Madisonville. Yep. So let's get a good coat of this honey money on here. Get some sweetness on top of that hickory. You're going to have a good mm -hmm. hickory flavor. Now, you know, if you were going to cure this and cook bacon or cook burnt ends or whatever, what have you, uh, the flavor profile Michael's using would be perfect. Just You'd want to put a good layer of uh, salt on it before you put the other flavors on there. And uh, But you can uh, flavor it up. That's how they do it at... Uh, at the uh, um, bacon factories, for lack of a better word. Yeah. They yeah. put the salt, the curing salts on there, and then they uh, add your hickory flavors in there, uh, sugar flavors, maple flavors, apple flavors. And um, that's how they do it. Now, if you're going to cure that, that if you, it would have salt on it, and you would put that in a, um, a plastic container with a lid, and um, you would just leave it in there for about a week, turning it over every day. And then when you got it out, you'd have, you would have um, uh, cured pork belly that then you would smoke and then uh, slice it and then eat it. The yep. best part, that, eating it. That's eating it. the part I'm waiting on. Now, through the magic of the Internet Television Network, we have, and you staying up till midnight. Yeah, true. <laughs> Thank you, one, for the Alice and S Barbecue team. Michael has, he's cooked both of these. Just like he prepared them. We're like, again, like we did our brisket, we're doing it backwards. And here it is. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've even already got it cut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm prepared for this. Oh, look at this guy. Look yep. at this guy. Look at yep. this guy. Look at that smoking hot. This one is the maple. Of course, you could smell that. Mm hmm. That one is your barbecue. Move that stuff there and just put that right there on the side. That's okay. It's not going to hurt the sand. It'll okay. wash. Look at the juices in there. Oh, Michael, 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 Michael. Okay, before we before we taste it now, I'm gonna, we got to talk about method. Everybody's wanting to know, you know, what's the method, Steve? So let's, um, let's go through time and temperatures on these two slabs of uh, pork belly. Okay, now what I did was I was cooking on a pellet cooker. So I wanted to try to get some smoke into it. So okay. I cooked it at a low temperature, 180, 200, for about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, to let it try to soak up some Pull of the smoke. smoke to it. Yeah. Right. And then I gradually bumped it up. I went to 225 for about another hour and a half or so. And mm -hmm. then I went up to 250. Mm -hmm. Once I wrapped it, that's when I bumped it up to 250. Now what temperature did you wrap it at? Uh, it was around 160 to 170 okay. on the internal right. temperature. And how long did that take? It doesn't. It's not a long, super long cook, is it? Probably about four to four and a half hours. Okay, until 160. That. Yeah, using that well, method. Well, it was probably about two and a half, two and a half hours to the 160. 
okay. two and a half to three. All right. And then once I wrapped it and bumped it up, it took about another hour to hour and a half to kind of get it to the temp I wanted. All right. So you're looking at about a six hour process. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's not terrible. Yeah. And this looks like, it looks like, I'm going to grab this with my hand. Yeah, go right ahead. It looks like something you, ooh, that's hot. It's hot. Ah, that's too hot. That's too hot. Dad gum it. Mm. Dad gum here. Give me that knife. Give me that, give well, me that knife. I'm just going to poke. That's all right. All right. We got, we got a paper towel. All right. Don't hurt nothing. We're men. Look at that. Sean, can you get a, can you get a picture of that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that piece of pork belly just dripping, just dripping with flavor. Michael, that is beautiful. Now that's the barbecue one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get, let's get this. Let's get this. And this is the breakfast David Bosco butcher barbecue. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. Man, that thing's hot and icy. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, we cooked that. We warmed that stuff up. Yeah. We warmed that up this morning. It's still hot. Look at that. Now, this stuff, it's it's hard to describe. Well, no, it's easy to describe. Um, it is melt-in-your-mouth stuff good. Is it not? It's delicious. I did sample it this morning before I come up here. Mm -hmm. You know, that's pit master privilege. You have to sample what you're... Sure you do. You sure you do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sean, what is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, David, uh, as you probably already know, it doesn't make that much of a difference. There are people that think that it does, but... Uh, I never really pay attention to it. I just grab it and do whatever. If you have a better suggestion, let me know because you know things they wonder about in yeah. Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah, Oklahoma. Now here's the and here is we're gonna make we'll make a biscuit out of this. Right. Uh, we'll make a biscuit out of the barbecue. Okay. Out of the barbecue chunk, folks. This stuff. If you have never serious talk, if you have never done a pork belly, they're they're super easy. Uh, the only, I know, I think, I think in Costco, they keep them in stock. They do. That's where I bought mine. Here in, here in Ottawa, you, yeah. we, I, I order mine from Publix. I'm sure Food City will order you a, a, a pork belly. And what you do is you ask for a pork belly and they're going to say, how big? And you'll say, I don't know, 10 to 12 pounds. And it'll come in a big, it's a sheet. It's a sheet of yeah, meat it is, is what it is. Yeah. And, uh, the, now I brought that one in. I already had cut that one in. I've got his brother at home in the refrigerator right. for my neighbor. Right. We're going to cook these tomorrow because he's never cooked one. And um, I'm going to let you have the first. Oh, okay. Look at that. I'm going to well, because I'm going much. to take the I'm going to take the barbecue one. Oh man, Michael, 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 Michael. Yeah, knock it out of the park. This is so good. This is so, so good. So tender. It's tender. The flavor is, the flavor is incredible. Yeah, you got to get you a piece of that. Yeah. That's amazing there. The flavor is incredible. Pork belly. Well, you know, the pork belly, it's about, it's about half fat, half meat. Yeah. But the, 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 the fat renders so nicely that it carries such a good flavor that it's like eating a piece of cotton candy. And you know when you've got it cooked right because the fat is rendered and it's soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, Michael, this is one of the best ones I've ever tasted. Amazing. You can't even, you can barely feel it on your teeth. Yeah. It, it is so, such a good, good product. You take that to a you take that to a party, family reunion. Wow. Yeah. You'd think I somebody mean, knew what they were doing. I mean, they wow. They you would be you would be the star. People would be, people would be clamoring yeah. for your autograph. You'd be the David Bosco, of the party. Wow, that's saying a lot. It's big. It's big. All right. Remember, always shiny foil in, shiny side of the foil in, <laughs> always. Okay. 
Michael, if you'll clear this off, just move it to the side. Okay. I'm going to go get the hot dogs. All right. And I'll be right back. We're going to have our... This isn't a better or worse taste test. It's just a what I like better taste test. All right. And all things are going to be fair. Everything's going to be fair. Everything's going to be equal. The buns will be equally steamed. The hot dogs have been cooked equally right next to each other. No, no dirty water. Just a clean cook, steaming process. So that all the flavor will Our come from the you hot dog. Cook pork belly, do yourself a The buns are identical. Go get you one. Come steamed at the same nest. time. These are some of the best. Now, the only trick here. I've got to do is remember oh, <laughs> which is which. Steve I think I can do that. Amazing. I think I can do that. Uh, okay. He's got a store here that has everything. If you don't like one particular brand of rubs, he's got something else. But you're not going to be unsatisfied one. here with anything that you purchase. Here is the other. Sean, there's going to be some samples left over here. We'll do one more thing. God, well, good. I can still, I can still taste it in my mouth, Michael. That pork belly is just fantastic. Just fantastic. Pork belly by Michael Williams, folks. Do yourself a favor and go to the store and buy a pork belly and cook it. It's easy. If you've got a good pork butt recipe, use that because that's the way you cook it. Okay. We're going to have hot dog A. All right. And that's hot dog B there, but this is hot dog A and hot dog B. All now right. we're going to put a little bit of mustard on each one because we want, we want the, them to be identical. All right. At your leisure, sir, you pick up a dog and you taste it, and you pick up the other dog and you taste it. All right. Would you like some water to clean your palate? Let me I get would. you some water. Thank you very much. I will get you some water so we can cleanse cleanse his sensitive palate. Yes, because I have pork belly on my palate <laughs> at the moment. I'll tell you what, you might spit that hot dog out after eating that pork belly. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. Jeff Jeff Maxwell is getting ready to open today. And he's he said, "Did you already eat some?" I said, "Yeah." He goes, "How was it?" I said, "It's delicious. <laughs> it, it's delicious. It is delicious." Ah, boy, it tastes good. Sunny water, nothing like it. Nothing like it. All right, we got hot dog A. Right there, and hot dog B. All right. You don't know which is which. I don't. So we are going to, Michael's going to try hot dog B first. Oh, look at this guy. Smell that. Look at yeah. this guy. Mm. Be clean. How for you, sir? Very nice crunch. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Now he will go to hot dog B. See, this is, see we do it a little, we elevate it a little bit. It's like Joey Chestnut cramming 62 of them down in 10 minutes. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we elevate ours up just a little bit. This is hot dog A. Hot dog A. All right. Mm. Where's that piece of pork belly? You keep eating those hot dogs. I'll eat this pork belly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want my answer? It's a drum roll. All right. Ta da! Hot dog B. Hot dog B. 
focus. I like you prefer the snap. It. You prefer it. I prefer it's not, this. It's not that it's that much better. Yep. They're both of them are delicious. The key. They're both really good. What I like about this one is the snap on the casing. Mm -hmm. When I bit that, I was like, mm. I mean, it's just that crisp bite. Yep. Uh, flavor is very similar. Mm -hmm. um, pretty sure that the Nathans are skinless. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. They're 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 called conies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Vienna's, it's delicious. Vienna's have the casing, Coney's don't. Yeah. Uh, both of them are delicious. I'd eat either one of them on any given day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's got that's got I love, mine. I love hot dogs. Wow. I mean you so let me ask um Eric, hold on what what color chicken do you use? You know, uh, on this I used a uh, mixture of uh Pecan and hickory pellets. I tried to go with, uh, you know, David Bosca likes uh, pecan pellets on his cooks that he does. Pecan and cherry. Yeah. Yep. So I did pecan and hickory because I had uh, an open bag of hickory. Just mm -hmm. popped it off of that. Mm -hmm. And what um, what temperature did you cook this to, Michael? Uh, the Which pork bellies were around 203 to 205. Okay. So you put them on the grill... You started them at 180 degrees to 200 to get some smoke on them for an hour and a half. Yep. And then you bump that temperature after an hour and a half up to... 225. 225 for yep. how long? Probably about another hour. Okay, so that's yep. three and a half right yep. there. Yeah. All right, at three and a half, you bump that smoker up to... 250. 250. Yeah. Okay. Then cook the pork belly up to 160 degrees internal temperature. Yep. Because that's about when it stops taking on smoke. Yep. Then you wrapped them. Did you put anything in the wrap? I topped them both off with the butcher. I put some the uh, seasonings. Maple, yep. Uh -huh. season. I did the maple rub in one, and I put some of the uh, Myron's rub in the other. Uh -huh. Kind of topped it off. Did you put any honey or butter or anything like that? I did not. Nothing. I did not. Well, a little bit of apple juice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or a steaming agent. Yeah. A little apple juice. Then you wrap these up tight. Yep. Come back on the grill. Did you bump the grill up to? I left it at 250. 250, yep. And so you just probed it through the foil, and when it hit 205, 203, yeah, it, 205, yeah. When it felt probe tender. Yeah. You know, I wasn't looking for a temperature. I was looking for tender. Tender, that's right. Yeah. And then you didn't cut them until after, of course, you took them off of the smoke. Right. I cut them this morning, actually, after they oh, had okay. cooled. Yeah. I cut them cold so they sliced well. Yep. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then we brought them and warmed them up. Yep. And uh, just, just, just. Just an incredible taste. Michael's saying, don't be taking all my pork belly water. <laughs> but I'm telling you, folks, this is, this is, Jeff, come here, taste this. I'm donating this pork belly to the owl's nest. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so this, anybody here that wants to try this? Let me jump in the middle here. Jeff Maxwell from Smoking Goats. Jeff's getting ready to set up for lunch. Try That's that. That's the David Bosco. Here you go, Sean. Thank you. That's delicious, Michael. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that good? Is that not the best stuff you ever had? It's a rainy day, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this stuff is just, it's just, it's just amazing. And not, it's, you know, there's, there's barbecue that's good. Pork, pork butt's good. You know, brisket, good. It's good. But you know what? There you go. You, you can have thank some you. of my pork belly. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate that. Here you want another piece? Like, like somebody was saying now. Um, wow. Cotton candy tender. It's good stuff. Cotton candy tender. Michael, thank you so much. Jeff, you got lunch today starting at 11? Yes, sir. 11 to 8. Lunch and dinner here at the... Here at the Owl's Nest in the Midnight Oil, Jeff's set up right there on the side in the big uh, food trailer. Come check him out. Good food. He does. Jeff does lunch on Mondays and Tuesdays and Saturdays. I do lunch on Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And then Jeff's here from 2 until 8 the rest of the days doing dinner. So if you just to make it easy, we have food at the Midnight Oil in the Owl's Nest Barbecue Supply Store Monday through Saturday, 11 until 8. So just, it doesn't matter who's cooking, all, it all tastes the same. We, talk, we, all, we all hang out. We all do the same things. Mm -hmm. Can't tell the difference. 
So come and see us. Come and see us today for all your barbecue supplies. Michael, thank you so much. Well, thank you. What a cook. What a thank great you. cook. Appreciate we it. appreciate it. David Bosca, thanks for watching back in Chandler, Oklahoma. We appreciate all the support. And uh, everybody that came in this week, Grilling Addiction will be back in stock this Tuesday. It's back. Best it's back. Stuff out there. Yeah, best stuff out there. So we've got it. It'll be back. Uh, Sean, get us out of here. We'll come see us. We'll be here at the store till 4 o'clock today. Thank you so much.